Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Abby. And we're here today to talk about the Rio Olympics 2016. In relation to the leadership and management aspects of the game. We're going to do this by completing a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analyses the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and the threats. So according to BBC News Online, from the 5th of August, over 200 countries have come together to compete in 28 different sports in just 17 days. So what are the strengths of the Rio Olympics? Teamwork is definitely a huge strength during any Olympics. And this still applies for Rio. Well done to Team GB with their efforts. The de definition of team according to Google is to come together as a team to achieve a common goal. All the Olympic teams, they're coming together working towards the same common goal to compete well and hopefully get that medal at the end. Even the athletes that seem to compete individually, they all have a coach, mentor, family and friends working with them like a team towards that common goal. They want the individual to compete well and win. So not only does this apply to sporting teams, it also applies to teams in the workplace. Everyone's coming together, no matter how large or small the company is, to work well, to build the company up. And what would the weaknesses be? The weaknesses could be the competency of the team behind the Rio Olympics. The results are possibly not enough training where needed. Something that we do discuss more in our other health and safety video, our SWOT analysis on our channel. Sportsmanship is similar to how you treat colleagues. You can win together, lose together, and can compete with or against each other. Some athletes' bad sportsmanship during the Olympics can be seen as a weakness for the teams. During the men's pommel horse final, Louis Smith seemed pretty upset he'd won silver while his teammate, Max Whitlock, had won gold, even though they're both Team GB. Because he didn't congratulate his teammates at first, because he was upset, it was seen as not very sportsmanlike and not a team player. Similar to teams within a workplace, everyone must always be supportive of each other because you all have the same end goal of doing well as a company, like a team. What would the opportunities be? The opportunities of the Olympics is seeing new leaders emerge. There can be people on the team who are older, people can be on the team longer, played the sport longer, had more experience, which is all relevant, but not necessarily who works the hardest and ends up winning. Winning and losing creates the opportunity for working as a team and for new leaders to take place. What were the threats for Rio during the Olympics this year? The various leadership and management issues were definitely a threat for Rio, but don't let it be a threat for your business and take this opportunity to contact us for any leadership and management queries and possible training. Thank you for watching.